Welcome to our video on the role of CoQ10 in diabetes and our overall health. In this video, we'll be discussing the importance of CoQ10 and its potential role in managing diabetes. Diabetes is a total bummer. It can feel like you're constantly stuck in a blood sugar roller coaster with no way out. Living with diabetes can be a difficult experience. It's estimated that over 30 million people suffer from diabetes in the United States alone. It requires careful management of diet, exercise, and medication to maintain healthy blood sugar levels, but even then, there are risks associated with uncontrolled blood sugar levels, such as blindness or kidney failure. For those living with type 2 diabetes, there may also be an increased risk for cardiovascular disease due to elevated cholesterol and triglyceride levels. But what if I told you there's a way to regain some control? Enter CoQ10, a totally natural enzyme found in our bodies that could be a game changer for blood sugar levels, especially for those with type 2 diabetes. CoQ10 is a rock star at reducing inflammation throughout the body, which can help improve insulin sensitivity, a key player in regulating blood glucose levels. Some studies have even suggested that CoQ10 supplements could be a rad alternative to traditional diabetes medications. While more research is needed, it's definitely an avenue worth exploring for anyone looking to take control of their blood sugar and improve their overall health. But before we continue, please take a moment to like this video and subscribe to our channel to help us reach more people. And don't forget to click on that notification bell so you can be the first to know when our latest video comes out. Now let's start by answering some important questions. Is CoQ10 a miracle cure for diabetes? Can it save the day? Coenzyme Q10, also known as CoQ10, is a naturally occurring enzyme found in our bodies. It plays an important role in producing energy within cells and is also a powerful antioxidant that helps protect cells from damage. As we age, our bodies naturally produce less CoQ10, which has been linked to various health problems, including diabetes, heart disease, and age-related skin problems, such as wrinkles and loss of elasticity. Supplementing with CoQ10 has been found to have a range of benefits, including improving insulin sensitivity in individuals with diabetes. A 2022 meta-analysis published in the Lancet Journal found that taking CoQ10 supplements can significantly decrease fasting sugar, insulin, HbA1c, and HOMA IR levels in people with diabetes. HOMA IR is a measure of insulin resistance, which is a major factor in the development and progression of diabetes. By improving insulin sensitivity, CoQ10 can help the body better control blood sugar levels and reduce the risk of diabetic complications. CoQ10 is also known to benefit the skin by keeping collagen production at a healthy level, reducing damage to cells, and improving elasticity. This can help reduce the appearance of wrinkles and age spots. While CoQ10 supplements are generally considered safe, some people may experience mild side effects such as nausea, diarrhea, and headaches. As with any supplement, it's important to talk to your doctor before taking CoQ10 to ensure it is safe for you and that it won't interact with any medications you may be taking. High blood sugar can have serious consequences for our health, affecting major organs like the pancreas, heart, and kidneys. When blood sugar levels are too high, inflammation can occur, making it difficult for the pancreas to produce and release insulin. Over time, this can lead to diabetes, heart disease, and even kidney failure. CoQ10 has been found to be effective in helping insulin work better, and the 40 studies analyzed in the Lancet meta-analysis found specific ways in which CoQ10 can improve insulin sensitivity. For example, CoQ10 helps to get more of an enzyme called tyrosine kinase into the muscles, which helps proteins in the body do their jobs better. CoQ10 also improves serum lipid profiles, which is linked to fewer symptoms of diabetes and a lower risk of heart disease. It's important to remember that CoQ10 is a naturally occurring enzyme that our bodies produce to keep various processes functioning smoothly. However, as we age and live lifestyles that may not be optimal, our bodies make less and less CoQ10. The Lancet study found that the optimal range for CoQ10 is between 100 and 200 milligrams per day. 
Overall, CoQ10 has been found to be a promising supplement for managing blood sugar levels and preventing complications associated with diabetes. Okay, so CoQ10 isn't just good for controlling blood sugar levels and protecting against all kinds of health complications, it's also a bit of a superhero for the rest of your body too. Studies have shown that it can help take care of your lungs, keep cancer at bay, and even slow down the progression of Alzheimer's and Parkinson's. Plus, if you're trying to get your fitness on, CoQ10 may also give you a bit of a boost. It's like a Swiss army knife for your health. So you're probably wondering how to get more CoQ10. Well, there are small amounts of CoQ10 in a lot of different foods, like fish with a lot of fat, such as salmon, mackerel, and sardines, and organ meats like liver and kidney. You can also find it in chicken, pork, and beef, as well as nuts and seeds like peanuts, pistachios, and sesame seeds. And let's not forget about fruits and vegetables like spinach, broccoli, cauliflower, avocado, oranges, and lentils. But here's the thing. The amounts of CoQ10 in these foods aren't very high. So to get the recommended amount, you'd have to eat a lot of them. Plus, the way you cook your food can affect the amount of CoQ10 in it. Frying, for example, can make it have less CoQ10 than it would otherwise. Experts say that the enzyme in CoQ10-rich foods is best kept by eating them raw or lightly cooked. So while it's important to eat whole foods and stay away from processed foods and refined carbohydrates, taking a CoQ10 supplement might be a good idea if you want to make sure you're getting enough. Before starting any supplement regimen, though, it's always best to talk to a healthcare professional. Remember, the key to staying healthy is a well-balanced diet full of important vitamins, minerals, and nutrients. And if you're thinking about taking a CoQ10 supplement, well, before you go rushing off to the store, let's talk about some of the possible side effects that you might experience. While CoQ10 supplements are generally safe for most people, some individuals might experience mild stomach problems, nausea, or headaches. But don't worry, these side effects can often be alleviated by taking the supplement with food or by reducing the dosage. Another potential issue is a skin rash. Some people who are allergic to CoQ10 might develop a rash or other skin reactions. If this happens, stop taking the supplement and seek medical advice. Also, be aware that certain medications like blood thinners and statins may interact with CoQ10. If you're taking medication, it's essential to consult with your doctor to avoid any possible interactions. Lastly, if you're pregnant or breastfeeding, it's best to talk to your doctor before taking any supplements. There's not enough research on CoQ10 safety during pregnancy and breastfeeding, so it's better to err on the side of caution. While CoQ10 is vital for our overall health, getting it from food sources alone may not be enough. Therefore, taking a CoQ10 supplement might be beneficial, especially for people with diabetes. However, it's always important to consult with your doctor before starting any supplement regimen to ensure it's safe for you and won't interact with any other medications you're taking. All right, folks, I hope this rundown on CoQ10 has given you some insight into why it's so important and how it can help with diabetes. At the end of the day, we all want to take care of our health. So if there's anything else we can do to lend a hand, just give us a shout. Is there anything you want to share about CoQ10? Have you tried it before? Share it with our community in the comments below. If you find this video helpful, please like, subscribe, and share it on social media. Thanks for watching, and we hope you're having a healthy and happy day.